Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the issue where you're getting an error alert saying that the user profile servers failed to log on. So if you're trying to access or log on to a Windows 7 computer and you're trying to access it using a temporary profile, you'll receive that error message. So there could be different issues causing it, but in this tutorial, we're not so much concerned with the cause, more so the solution. So we're going to jump into it. We want to first access the advanced boot options for Windows 7. So if you're able to normally boot into the Windows 7 operating system, I'd recommend just performing a normal restart and then tap the F8 key repeatedly while the computer restarts to launch the advanced boot options. Alternatively, if you do a hard power off, so if you just turn the power off like just by pushing the power button in until the computer goes black, that's a workaround for that as well. And you'll get to this Windows error recovery screen because the option that we want to pursue will be the same for both and that would be to go to safe mode with networking. So using the arrow keys on your keyboard you want to navigate over until you highlighted the safe mode of networking option and then you want to hit enter on your keyboard to select that option. Okay, so now that we're in safe mode, we want to head over to the start button. Just left click on it one time. And you want to type in regedit. R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should say regedit. Right click on it, and then left click on run as administrator. So now in the registry editor, you want to expand the H key local machine folder. So just left click on the little plus sign next to it on the left. Now that you've done that, you want to go and do the same thing for the software folder right underneath. Or I shouldn't say right underneath, it should be in this folder path. So click on software there. I'm going to expand the side here a little bit better. You want to find the Microsoft folder and plus sign next to that one as well. I'm going to expand the view a little bit more so I can see where we're going here. And now that you've done that, you want to look for something that says Windows NT. So it should be near the bottom here and then do the plus sign next to that and then should be a plus sign next to current version do that one as well and now you want to go down to get to profile list and you want to expand that one as well so now you expand the profile list now there should be two profiles listed in here there should be a .bak which is a backup profile and then the other one they should both have the same number otherwise besides the .bak they should look the same we want to basically swap these two so in order to do that, you want to just right click on the one that does not have .bak on it. Left click on rename, and then just type .ba. And now for the other one, you just want to remove the .bak and just make it normal. Just remove the .bak at the end, get rid of the extension name. And now you want to go back to the one that we called bak. Now you want to rename the one that was originally BAK. You just want to get rid of the .BA at the end. And now the one that was originally .BAK should just be the normal one. It should not have .BAK at the end. So basically you just want to rename the other one something temporarily until you can make the BAK one the normal one. And now on the right side here, you want to double click on ref count. Underneath value data, you want to set that to zero. So just using your number key on your keyboard, set that value data to zero. Click on OK. And now you want to go to where it says state. So double click on state here. For value data, you want to set that one to zero as well. And then click on OK. Once you've done that, I'd recommend closing out of here. Restart your computer. And you should be able to boot Windows back. normally and you should not have that user profile error anymore. So we're going to let this just go for a second here.
and there we go guys we have booted back into Windows normally so I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out resolve this user profile error and as always thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye